Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'm going to be reviewing and installing this watch strap. I got this from Alibaba Express for just $2.93 shipped to my door. It took just maybe about two weeks to arrive. It looks, uh, well, pretty low quality. It's a thin strap. And uh, I suspect it won't last, won't last forever, of course, but uh, we'll see how well it installs and uh, I'll give you an update in the comments if it starts falling apart. All right, let's go ahead and get it installed. This watch I want to tell you real quickly about. <clears throat> this is one of my first watches I bought as an adult and it was probably about 20 years ago actually, uh, maybe around the year 2000 and I wanted a watch. I didn't know anything and I still don't know a lot, but I didn't know anything about watches. So I just went to Walmart and bought a watch. I have no idea how much it is. It's the Advance, Advance I think it's a company, but uh, it's really just a cheapy watch and I didn't know it. I liked how it looked. I liked the intricate print on the watch face and I still do look, think it looks pretty nice, you know, for a cheap, cheap watch. So I wore a lot actually back, at, back in the day and uh, eventually the strap started getting really worn out. It was like a fake, like a brown fake leather one. And recently when I grabbed it again, I mean, I, I haven't wore it in well over 12, 13 years. When I grabbed it again, the watch was just, the band was just falling apart, like literally crumbling in my hands. So I went ahead and took it off. Also the watch had stopped working at that time, but luckily I needed a battery for another watch. Actually this one, I believe it was this one, which you can see on my other video. I needed a, a uh, battery for that one. And coincidentally, these both use the same battery. So when I ordered one for this watch, I was able to put one into this one too. So that got it working again, but I still needed a band and I didn't want to spend a lot of money because the watch itself probably was only 10 or maybe $15. Still at Walmart, you can get watches kind of similar to these for like, like 10 or $15. So I didn't want to spend very much money on the battery or the band considering the watch is 20 years old and probably was only 10 bucks new. The battery, I think I paid three or $4 for two of them and the, the wrist strap was only two ninety three, dollars so I'm probably in it, you know, well under $5 to get this thing going again. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that band on. I'm excited to see how it's going to look. Uh, actually, I'm not so positive how to do it, but I, I have an idea how it should go on. Just from the pictures I remember on the AliExpress ad, I think I know how it goes, but I've never actually done one like this. This is my growing collection of watch pins. I, let's see, what size was this? It's a 20 millimeter. There it goes. It's a nice little satisfying snap. Okay, let's find another 20. Let me know in the comments if there's a better way to get these on. Yep, that one's in. Okay, cool. So I got both of the uh, pins in, so I believe... All right, how's this gonna go? Something like this, I think. So if I wear the watch like that, it would go like that, right? Let's put on a different watch. It has a normal-ish strap, so like that one. It goes like that. So the clasp and stuff should be on that side. Okay, just making sure. So if that's the case, yeah, it would go like that. And I think to do that, you need to, what does this go like that maybe? Uh-oh. Yeah, it should be, that needs to thread under there, but it's, oof. I don't know if it's gonna go, it's super tight. Ooh, it's very tight, but it's going a little bit. Okay. Maybe it's gonna work. Wow, it's super tight. All right, and then it's gonna go like that. Okay, I think that's right. But oh boy, that's snug. Okay, I think that's like that. I don't know. Don't know if I should go further or not. That might be good just right there, huh? Let's stick this through here. Let's 
kind of scary. Mm. Oh, I got it. I think we're okay. I don't want to break the pins either, of course. Oh my gosh, this is so tight. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right. So that goes like that, I think. And that should be flat on the back, like that. That looks pretty good. And then I think this, whoops, I think I may need to move it a little bit further because that should be like that. All right, let's see if we can move it up just a little bit. Oh, it's so dang tight. There we go. Okay. And this, I think, will go like that. And now I think it's done. Let me go ahead and try it on, see if I got it right or not. Feels a bit rigid. Okay, it's going though. It'll go under here. Okay, I think it's done. Don't really love how that hangs out there. I mean, what do you think? I think it looks decent, but I don't really like how this hangs. And I don't think there's much I can do about that. Looks all right. What do you think? It's a pretty watch though, isn't it? It's a date complication. Uh, it's always worked perfectly. The module inside is actually really small. It's like a little bit bigger than that silver part in the middle right there. And uh, it just has like a long, a long uh, rod connecting to the, uh, the crown. I think that's what you call that. Anyway, that's my $3 AliExpress watch strap. Eh, it's okay. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll update in the comments what I think uh, after a little bit of time. I don't think I've ever had a, this type of uh, watch strap. Almost looks nicer off of the watch than on my wrist, doesn't it? All right, thanks everybody for watching. Remember, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything. Bye.